Hey everybody, Toe TV here. What we're coming with you at today is Phantom Trophy. That's right. Days of Glory are upon us and we are after Phantom Trophies. They drop throughout Skyforge. But Oki Island seems to have the best consistency rate of them dropping. Also, while we're here, we're also going to be farming for the Market of Pioneer. We're going to be farming KOE, we're going to be farming credits. So we can kill four birds with one stone on one map. What could be better? Right? Right? Well, anyways, Oki Island, rank 81. I'm only 79, so this might be a little rough. But so far, every time I've ran this map, I've at least walked away with one Phantom Trophy. Oh, here we go. Let's go down yonder. We don't worry about side missions or followers or anything like that. We do those on our own later on. Now, you might not get them right off the bat, which is no big deal, but you should at least get one Phantom Trophy by the end of the map. Oh, there we go. Those guys, the phantoms will drop you the phantom trophy. On one map run earlier today, I did end up with three. How I did it, I don't know, but it gave us three. Hey, look at that. One phantom trophy. Beautiful. Uh, Oki Island seems like the universal place for farming, whether it be a legendary Mark of the Pioneer, credits, whatever. Knowledge of enemies, I mean we've been getting really decent amounts of knowledge of enemies on here today. I'm not saying this is the best place to do it, but you gotta, you gotta farm all this stuff, you might as well just do it here, you can do it all at one swing. Before you go doing this on 81, do a test run first to make sure that you can that you're strong enough. I'm 79, which is just over a million prestige by old methods or old standards, excuse me. And even this is it's not difficult, but it is a little time consuming. I have not tried this on any lower of a setting for the maps difficulty. Well, that's why I'm doing the video at 81 at rank 81. Oh, and not only are we here for KOE, Credits, Mark of the Pioneer, and Phantom Trophy, we're also here for Green Gen 2 gear. Now the thing with Green Gen 2 is, yeah, you may be saying to yourself, well, I got purple already. Well, purple is great. It's Gen 1. It stops at 2.3. Green Gen 2 stops at 2.6. So, you're getting... Three tenths better gear than what you currently are wearing, so it is worth the effort to come in here get get some gear just to get you carried over until the to the rest of the equipment runs the raids 
are available to us. It would just make your life a little more easier in the long run when newer things start releasing. But back there you saw I did pick up a Gen 2. Whether it's going to be better than what I currently have right now, that's a different story. Currently I'm actually wearing a Gen 2 bracelet, a Gen 2 ruby, and a Gen 2 sapphire. I've yet been able to pick up a topaz or emerald uh, worthwhile from this map. I had picked them up, but they have been substandard to what I already have equipped, which is, well, 2.29. For some reason with this update, every piece of gear that I had 2.3 dropped down to 2.9. Why? I don't know. I have no explanation on that one. Here we go. Still getting a decent amount of knowledge from enemies. For those of you that watched my stream, you guys saw me run this several times today. So I wanted to test it out before actually going ahead and making a video about it. I try to put out actual factual stuff and not and not uh unfactual is that even a word unfactual i don't know i think i'm trying to make up the english language now but easy way either way here we go Still continuing on, pushing through. Nuts. Didn't get him. Oh well. We'll fight off these little bit of ads real quick and continue on. There we go, trusty staff to finish him off. All held revolvers. Unfortunately, the Gen 2 weapons that drop are not better than your D4 weapons that we got back in the fighting item invasion. I have yet to run across a green set that outmatch what I currently have as Distortion 4. Um, if you have yet to get been able to get into Isabella or even C1, you can still get your brooch, your necklace, or yeah, your necklace and your ring out of here as well. They do drop out of here. So if you're one of those solo players still trying to gear hunt for the new stuff and you haven't been able to make a completion or been able to get through it, uh, you can still get that gear here. I don't know. To me, Oki Island seems to be a universal map for a lot of things in the game. Um, I tend to visit it visit it quite often. So, but that's my take on it and my personal experience. You guys may have different other different experiences with other maps, but this is the one I tend to come to the most. Unless I have one thing set in mind, like credits. I normally go to diaphragm. Uh, same for deeds. We all know out there that that's a good one to do your divine form in. Get yourself 150 deeds plus 3,000 credits in a very short period of time. Um, Aristotle Farm, if you're just strictly farming KOE. So. But we all have our own little preferences. Alright, let's get this map finished up. 
Now, unfortunately, we did not get anything from him. So, no go on the Market Pioneer. That's a very, very small drop rate. It's less than 1% from what I've been told. Uh, don't get discouraged about not getting it. It is only 10% higher than the Distortion 3 artifacts that we ended up getting in the last Distortion. Um, they they dropped to 86%. The Market Pioneer and Signa of the Night drop at 96 for, excuse me, for Gen 2. So it's a, only a 10% difference. Is it really that big of a deal? Probably not. I mean, it does only a 10% extra hit points, which in my case would only be 143,000 extra hit points. Um, is it necessary? No. Would it be nice to have? Absolutely. Especially if you're a collector. I am not really, but hey, we're here for KOE. We're here for trophies. We're here for credits. Why not? You know? These 7 plus 8, 8 plus 10. If you're not a premier, if you don't have premier rank on this, uh, on the game, I highly do suggest it. It makes things a lot easier. Um, you don't even have to spend money to get, get premier. You can always, you do get drops during the game. That'll give you a, excuse me, a free version of it. I'm sorry guys, I have been up a very long time. Don't mean to yawn on video, but I'm doing a one shot deal at this. So the, so my commentary may not be the greatest. It never is. I'm a streamer, I'm not a YouTuber. But I do like to try to post videos out there to help make your lives easier. And there's another ruby with Renegade Revolvers. Okay, 17,000 credits. We'll take it. And there we go. So we're farming for five different things. And we're doing it in roughly 12, uh, 12 and 3 quarter minutes, 13 minutes, whatever. Um, I'm sure you could go a lot faster if you were a higher prestige than I am. Um, if you're a lower prestige, you might need to take it a little slower. So... But let's see uh, what our trophy drop is, eh? Okay, here we go. What What is it going to give us? More likely, it's probably going to give us ether. But we do get lucky and we do get other things out of it. Drum roll, please. Yeah, whatever. That's a bad impression of drums, ain't it? Anyways, we got some ether trace. That's alright. Let's see if we got anything better in our gear. No, we have not. But as you see, like I said... There's the Gen 2, 2.58, better than the 2.3 purple that we had in there. Uh, 2.47, 2.51. 2.51. Oh. And like I said before, you can get your ring out of there, you can get your bracelet, you can get your brooch, you can get your necklace. Uh, fortunately this run we did not pick up an emerald or a topaz, but they have dropped. Um, I wish I could have gave you physical proof of that, but there you have it, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. That's Farming Oki Island for those five items. I hope you found this video useful, informative. If not, well, I appreciate you watching anyways. Um, I'm Toe TV. You can, follow, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Toe TV. I'm live daily, mostly by 7 a.m. 
Eastern time in the mornings for a short period. Then I do an afternoon stream, normally starting about 3 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern time as well. Uh, you feel free to stop by if you have any questions. Be more than happy to answer your questions. What I'm here for. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you like this video, please slap a like. And if you really like the video, please subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. It all helps. And if you want to catch me on stream, hit that follow button. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you can catch the next stream. Guys, thank you very much and I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.